All right, guys, it is Saturday, and I am so excited. I have chosen the movie from all of your suggestions last week or a couple weeks ago. Um, it's the ones that we went over last week, but I have chosen the movie from those suggestions. I'm going to tell you what that is in just a minute, but right now, we are about to get on the highway and head out to Akron, Ohio to see something that I have not seen in a long, long time. It's awesome. Let's do this. All right, guys, we are here. Wait till you see this. I was just browsing online this morning looking for the logo, and I came across this. I cannot believe it's still here. Look at this. Video time video sign. Look at that. Holy friggin' crap. I don't even know how long ago these places closed. It has to be at least 15 years ago now, but this apparently used to be a video time right here. I mean, I never went to this one, but holy crap, look at that sign. I mean, it is in pristine condition. Yeah, guys, look at this. The other side here, too. That sign is just in absolutely pristine condition. That blows me away that that is still there. I am so absolutely stoked about that. Right now, what's in this place is a Boost Mobile. You can see the sign below there. And uh, I'll put the address below if you guys want to come out here to Boost Mobile. The guy just told me they had some awesome deals going on. But yeah, I am just so stoked that that sign is still up there. And so it brings me to this. Number one, I used to rent VHS tapes from Video Time in Canton, Ohio all the time. And this is one that I actually bought from there. The Burbs. I don't have a slip cover anymore, but look. We got the Video Time label, the sticker still on the bottom there. It's the same logo. <laughs> that is awesome. It's also on this side. And then you can see it here on the barcode there. You can sort of see it. But that's really cool. That one actually came from Video Time. And I thought this was cool too. I don't know where I actually got this. Oh, apparently I got this at Bueller's. Bueller's for five bucks, $5.99. We got the previewed uh, movie sticker on there. And then the coolest thing about this one, you see I'm wearing my Be Kind Rewind shirt. Well, look at this. There it is, right there on the Leap of Faith VHS. Be kind, please rewind. <laughs> that is so cool. But what brings me out here today, guys, is we're doing a throwback, as suggested by Joshua Twing on the Facebook post. We are going to do The Karate Kid. And not just part one, we got part two also, both on VHS. When I was a kid in the 80s, I used to rent the Karate Kid on VHS all the time. I mean, constantly to the point where my sister just wanted to kill me. I absolutely love this movie. Uh, when you watch it now, it is so nostalgic, taking you straight back to the 80s. So awesome. And then Karate Kid Part 2 came out, and this is actually the very first movie that I ever saw on my own in a theater without, like, parents or anybody else with me. It's not the greatest movie ever but it has that close place in my heart because of that. I absolutely love this. I actually have a sealed one at home. The plastic is still on it. It's the exact same one, never been opened. I love it. All right, guys, one last look at the totally awesome Video Time video sign there. I just cannot believe that that is still up there. It, it just, just totally amazes me. I'll bet you anything there's light bulbs inside there and you could turn it on at night. So cool. Home of the 99 cent videos, free membership. Man, video time, the memories are flooding back. Just absolutely amazing, guys. All right, video time video. <laughs> I can't believe it's here. I just can't believe it. So thanks again to Joshua Twing for suggesting we do the Karate Kid movies. That's what we're watching tonight. And Josh, message me your address. I'm gonna send you an awesome Karate Kid packet, including this sweet 
Cobra Kai hat that I got last year at the uh, Spirit Halloween. I've never worn it, it's brand new, and it's coming straight to you, buddy, just for suggesting the awesome movie for tonight. All right, guys, so make sure that you subscribe, you hit that bell for notifications. In a future video, I'm gonna be taking you to the town where I lived, and I'm gonna show you where in the 80s I used to rent my VHS tapes from the library, from the little video store, and the theater where I saw Karate Kid 2 by myself for the very first time. So awesome, I love it so much. Stay tuned and you guys will see that in a, in a future video. Okay guys, well, things don't always work out. I do have somewhere else we're gonna go, but I'm sitting here at a candy store that I'm not gonna tell you their name because they would not let me film inside. Some places just don't understand the benefit of having their place of business in a YouTube video. And um, I mean, that's okay. You know, that they're entitled to say no. But um, I mean, think of it this way. How many people have gone to the Dollar Tree simply because I've been filming a ton of Dollar Tree stores? I mean, people know that the Dollar Tree exists, but that has spread out to every single viewer who has seen my videos. It caused Wally to start filming there. It caused a bunch of other people to start filming, and then a bunch of other people to start going looking for that specific video for Wally. So it's a chain reaction. When you let me film in your place, not just me, other YouTubers too, but when you let us film in your place of business, it's good for business. So if you own a business, guys, and you're watching this right now, and a YouTuber comes in and says, hey, can I film in here? The answer should be yes, because it will help you. But this time, bye-bye, unnamed candy shop. So along with Joshua's suggestion of the Karate Kid, he said I should make some kind of Chinese food. Um, however, we just did Kung Pao Chicken two weeks ago, I believe. Um, so we're going to skip on that, but I do have something else awesome that we're going to make tonight. But the first thing I want to do is see if I can find some candy that has to do with this. So let's go to the place where I know I can film with no problem at all, the Dollar Tree. All right, first got to stop at Walmart here quick. All right, just need a couple things in here, then we're gonna go right across the street to that Dollar Tree. And of course, they are sold out. Well, you know what, for as much as I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna get some of these regular milk chocolate chips. All right, the other thing I need is an H21. Supposedly, let's see here. Where are you? Sometimes I get this stuff wrong. It, here's the numbers up here, H20, H21. They got all the aisles marked. And if you look on the Walmart website, um, just look up whatever you want, and it's supposed to tell you what aisle this stuff is in, but a lot of times they get it wrong. They got it right. Bamboo chopsticks. All right, that's all I need from here. Let's go to the Dollar Tree. All right, guys, we are at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree. Shopping at the Dollar Tree. All right. They have new movies. Look at this. American Hangman. Ooh, Donald Sutherland. Monster High on Blu-ray. Great Scarier Reef. WW something Survivor Series 2010. Hired Gun. Hmm. Beyond Skyline. Haven't heard of that one. There's Robocop. The Recall. I thought it was Total Recall for a minute. I was going to grab it. Thousand Yard Stare. Haven't heard of that one either. World War II. Distorted. I think we have heard of that one. Dark Was the Night. Hmm. Takedown. Doe. Una. Road something or other. Pull these up here a second. More of the wrestling one. Let's see here. Anything else new? Uh, Orphan Horse. I don't like John Voight all that much. Kill Katie Malone, what the heck is that? Dean Kane is in this. Never buy a demon on the internet, what the heck? <laughs> Look at this guys, holy crap. Jeepers Creepers, yes! I am so buying that, I love this movie. How cool is that? All right, let's see Muhammad Ali. That would be a good one. Oh, let's see, what is this? Ooh, look at this, Robert. It's a double feature too. 
Robert and the Curse of Robert. This is supposed to be a true story, too. That was cool. I just got a whole bunch of good DVDs. All right, let's do what we're here for. And what we are here for, hopefully, will be among these things here. They always have a ton of these different things, like the Sour Bright Crawlers, Octopus, Bears, All-Star Mix. I'm not sure what that is. Look, there's a hand in that one. We are looking for... Oh my gosh, that's the first time I've ever seen a Trolley Evil Twins. Holy crap, I've never seen these before anywhere. Anyways, we are looking for, like, gummy flies. You remember on uh, Karate Kid when Daniel walks in and Mr. Miyagi is trying to catch flies with the chopsticks? And then Daniel just catches it real easy and Mr. Miyagi gets really mad. <laughs> well, that's what I'm looking for. And I honestly, unfortunately, don't see anything like it, guys. What is this? Yeah, these are just more bottles and stuff. Well, that sucks. I don't see any. I can't say I've ever seen them before, but I thought if they were going to have any anywhere, it would be here or at that other candy store. But, uh, oh well, that's all right. I can't have the candy ones anyway. I guess I gotta come up with something that's keto or low carb. So we're gonna go home and uh, I have a special way we're gonna make some. One more look right here, just in case. But I don't see anything that would work, no. Okay. Wait, I almost missed these. Look, they have bears. They have even frogs over here. Uh, but I don't see any flies or anything like it. Okay guys, so I've changed into a shirt that has some bacon stains on it already. Because <laughs> what we are going to use to make our flies is bacon. Just bacon and one other thing. Not the Diet Fago root beer, which is probably the worst diet root beer I've ever had. But we're going to use these milk chocolate chips. And of course we have our chopsticks. Now, truthfully, I have no clue how this is gonna go. I've never done this before. I've never had chocolate covered bacon before. <laughs> but we are going to attempt to cut some fly shapes out of pieces of bacon, bake that bacon, and then take it out of the oven and cover it with chocolate. We're also gonna need this pan and some parchment paper. Okay, so this is Wright brand Applewood bacon. I love this kind. This is thick cut. My favorite kind ever. If you bake it in the oven just right, it tastes like melted butter. I don't know if I go that far, but it tastes like delicious bacon. Okay, so I think we're going to use... Let's use three pieces. Look at how thick that stuff is, guys. Mmm, this should work good. At least I hope. I don't know. <laughs> You're along for this ride with me. Okay, now I think this is going to work the best. I have these KitchenAid shears, and I have cleaned them the best that I possibly can before doing this. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. That cuts right through there. Cut up some small pieces here. That's much easier than a knife. Okay, so I got those three pieces cut up into smaller squares. Let's put our parchment paper on this pan. Look at this. This is Reynolds. The cheaper stuff works better. They got this generic little strip of teeth on here. Look how good it cuts. Look how horrible that is. You have to just rip it off. Anyway. So we'll put that on there, just like that. And as we cut out our fly shapes, what am I thinking, man? We'll put, <laughs> we'll put them on the pan. <laughs> you know what a fly looks like. Oh, this might be kind of difficult. It's basically just going to be the shape. So it's going to be like a little plus sign. Some of this is kind of stringy, too. Interesting. Okay, <laughs> so 
As far as getting something that's shaped like a fly, hold on. Well, hold on. I'll cut them out. I'll put them on there, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Well, here's what I got. Started out with those, and it was too difficult to, get, to keep going. They're so mushy and greasy, so I ended up just making little mounds of bacon. I mean, they're not going to look like flies, but in the end... It's still going to be chocolate-covered bacon, so let's just see what happens with these. All right, let's do 400. Okay. Alexa, set my alarm for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. All right, well, we'll see how this works out. I don't know. I'm doing this for the very first time ever. This was just my idea of how to possibly make flies <laughs> for the snack. <laughs> I don't know how else I would do it besides looking for the candy shape, or I mean the fly shaped candy, and you saw we didn't find any of that. Now, if I had put more thought into this earlier in the week, um, and I don't even know if that would have been long enough time, but maybe I could go on like Amazon or eBay or something and find some kind of candy, some gummy flies or something like that. I don't know. I'm curious. I'm going to go look them up while I'm waiting for the bacon to be done. Okay, let's go ahead to eBay here and just see if we can find gummy flies. Um, no, did you mean gummy fries? No, I didn't. <laughs> we got fishing lures, and it looks like that is pretty much it. Now, I don't know what the policy is on uh, uh, eBay anymore with selling, like, candy and edible food, you know, whatever, but um, I know that you used to be able to uh, sell that kind of stuff, so let's see. Candy flies. Mm, it's just bringing up, hmm, it's just bringing up fishing. Must not be offering it. Let's check Amazon. Candy flies. Okay, well, this is cool. Um, well, that's more like bees, but it's a candy mold that makes bees. And look over here, we have fudge flies. That's what I'm talking about. Now, that is uh, Harry Potter, but still, look at this. They're shaped like, like fly. Well, I mean, <laughs> as fly-shaped as you can get for a little hunk of chocolate, I guess. Look at that. Let's see if there's anything better. Just out of curiosity. I'm not going to order any, but... Here's butterflies. Uh, hmm. There's frogs. Okay, look at this. Well, this is soap molds, but it's still a mold with... Uh, uh, well, it's more like bees. So, okay. Let's look up um, gummy... Gummy flies. See, now it's just bringing up again just the fishing stuff. So, here's plastic flies. There's gummy butterflies. You know, the other place you might be able to find something like this is in Amish country, where they have the bulk stores. Um, I mean, you can find all kinds of stuff there. That's where I get, like, my popcorn for the popcorn machine. And you can get big bags of uh, the dried marshmallows like you find in cereal, like in Lucky Charms and that. Okay, let's just uh, Google candy. See what kind of candy stores we can find. Let's see, candy warehouse. Okay. There's another candy place that I can't think of what it's called, but it's something like this. It has just all kinds of stuff. Candy flies. Three results. All right, here we go. Lightning bugs. Um, that's that's a pretty good one right there. Let's take. Let's look at a bigger thing of it. That's pretty fun, actually. And they light up. What the heck? Look at this. That is so cool. <laughs> Lightning bugs, gummy candy, grab a bug, light it up. I would assume, yeah, the tongs light up. So look, there's a little button there. When you squeeze the tongs, it lights up. That could actually be your chopsticks, too. And you could eat them 
just like that. As you squeeze it, they light up. That is awesome. That's not a very big bag of them, I don't think, for 20 bucks. But, um, but that's pretty cool anyway, and they're out of stock. Okay, so let's just go back with one more search here. Gummy flies. Yeah, again, the only thing it brings up is the lightning bugs. So, <laughs> I mean, that was a cool find right there. They're out of stock. But, I mean, if you planned for something like this, then, yeah, you could get these. And that's probably the closest thing that you would find if you were just going to buy them. Um, you know, I'm trying to make them some, from scratch here, just coming up with an idea out of my head. I don't even know how chocolate-covered bacon is going to taste. However, bacon is delicious and chocolate is delicious. So I can't believe that it wouldn't be good. Oh, man, this isn't good. <laughs> I think I burned most of them. Oh boy. Okay. Well, most. Let's let's just see what happens. Okay. Parchment paper on our plate. Oh boy. Well, this is what happens when you're doing something for the very first time. I saved the best looking ones. <laughs> but most of them are burned. And I just checked on these just a minute ago. So, I mean, they went from not quite done, to burned that quick. However, in looking at these, you can see where the ones I cut out sort of in the shape of a fly, how they stayed in that shape. So, I mean, maybe if the, uh, if the bacon was colder coming out of the fridge and you did it real quick, you'd be able to cut those shapes and actually do them all like that. But the bacon was so slimy and greasy, like almost immediately, that it was way too difficult. So, these aren't all that bad. I mean, that one's the most burned, but like, look at that one. That one's good. We got enough here just to give them a taste and see if it works. So basically, the next thing we gotta do is just melt some chocolate chips. I'm just gonna put uh, just a little bit in here. I mean, that should be enough right there. Microwave for about 30 seconds. And probably could have used 35 to 40 seconds, but it'll do. See, it's kind of, it's good in there, but there's still little chunks of chocolate chips. So we'll just mix it for a minute. And we're basically just going to drop chocolate onto each one of these. Yeah, I mean, this is weird, but I can't imagine it's not going to be delicious anyway. Let that soak for a minute. All right, here... <laughs> here is our sad attempt at chocolate-covered flies. Miyagi flies. We'll put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Oh my gosh, I don't know about this. I mean, if nothing else, it's been fun. <laughs> I mean, maybe this was like God's way of intervening and making sure I don't eat too much chocolate. Burned, but it's bacon. All right, it's starting to get dark out. It's been about a half an hour. The chocolate looks like it's set good. So let's go ahead and give these a taste. They make it look so easy in the movie. All right, so we got our little bowl of chocolate flies here. There we go. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. A little bit burned, but still pretty good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tasty! Would definitely be much better if they weren't burned, but they are pretty good, so. Alright guys, I'm gonna go finish my measly little thing of chocolate-covered flies and go watch the Karate Kid double feature. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell, and I will see you guys next Saturday.